Chapter 1, Part 1 of Memoirs of Extraordinary Popular Delusions and the Madness of Crowds. Hi guys, how are you? Mind this one, Titanium. Welcome back to Real Macroeconomics and Investing, patreon.com slash real macro. That's where I mentor people on uh, real macroeconomics and investing. Uh, you're going to learn how to uh, understand real macro, okay? Not this fake uh, bullshit. Real macroeconomics that you can go out on your own and verify. So let's get started with this video. All right. Um, inflation is always and everywhere a monetary phenomenon. This is true. Why is it true? Because you cannot take a, a bucket, pour endless amounts of water inside that bucket, um, and not get inflation. It's just not possible. Okay. Water has to go somewhere. And there's only a limited amount of space within a bucket. So what is Milton saying here? Well, you can't, you cannot print dollars in excess of what the productive output capability of that nation is. You're going to get inflation. And this is the part where MMT, uh, they, they love to fuck with people because they're saying, look, there's no inflation. My friend, look, look, 2%, no inflation. Everything is fine. No problem. Well, the reality of this situation is that uh, MMT is a full of shit. Okay. And I'll just draw it out for you. Right, here's the government. Here's the productive out, uh, economy within the private sector. And here's the non-productive part of the economy within the private sector. Okay? So what is happening is um, when, you're, when you're not seeing inflation, it's around 2%, whatever it is, and you're like, my God, we keep printing money and there's no inflation. Oh, my God. It's so amazing. Yeah, we can keep printing. No. Because you are not trained in macroeconomics. So you don't understand where money flows. Okay. The reason that you're not seeing uh, inflation in the productive economy is because those dollars are funneling through the uh, productive economy so fast that they end up in the savings bubble. So money flows from government through the productive uh, economy so fast that it ends up in the savings bubble. And then from the savings bubble, this money gets invested in asset prices okay like stocks bonds commodities and you'll see asset price inflation there okay now i can show it to you you don't have to believe me uh, but the important part here for you to understand is that it's the output that we care about it is the output that the 95 percent okay can create how much economy they can create and if those dollars are not growing uh, the economy, the output at the same rate, you're going to end up with inflation. And that inflation will be observed in asset prices, in asset prices. So, uh, again, you don't have to take my word. You don't have to like Milton, <laughs> okay? You, you do have to uh, follow the laws of physics, and you do have to follow the money flows, because that's the only thing that's going to show you what reality is. Now, before I continue, I need you to understand something here. Government, global government debt in 2008 was 31 trillion. And today, okay, well, I should say today, today is actually more than, but in the end of 2018, it was $66 trillion. Now, fake MMT is going to tell you, yeah, that's our savings. That's our savings. We've doubled our savings in the past, uh, you know, 10 years. Have you? Have you really? doubled your savings and uh, I think I can uh, reasonably assume you have not not you not your friends not your family that has not been the case and yet you have a whole bunch of little fucktards running around you know magic money tree worshippers telling you how we are having a, a cash famine and we just need more deficits damn it because it's our savings so going back to what Milton said, okay, inflation is always and everywhere a monetary phenomenon. And how do we know that? Because the global economy has not risen at the same rate, okay? Our economy uh, in the world has not uh, expanded as fast as the money supply. Global GDP back in 2007 and 8 was around 63 trillion. And today we have a global GDP of about, uh, I don't know, 84 trillion. Well, at the same time, the global government debt has more than doubled uh, in size. So clearly, 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 
the output portion has not expanded at the same rate as money has. So we know we have inflation. The problem is uh, that most people, 99% of the people, even more, don't understand where the inflation is taking place and why MMT is full of shit. Okay? They don't understand it because they don't understand real macroeconomics. So let me show it to you. Let's take a look at the value of the global bond market today. Okay, this goes back to 1990. All you're going to see is with all these excessive deficits that the prices, uh, the value, not the prices, the value of the global bond market has skyrocketed. We have essentially gone from a couple trillion in 1990 to $56 trillion of bond savings worldwide. You know what that is? It's inflation. Okay, that's what it is inflation an excessive amount of dollars that are being pushed into the global bond market causing prices to rise and yet you're going to have the mmt fucktards sit here and tell you we just don't have enough fucking dollars in the world we have a cash famine we need more deficits not enough and you, MMT tards, magic monetary, uh, monetary uh, tree worshippers, are going to go out and say, yes, you're right, Mr. Mosler the squid. Yes, we need more deficits. Not once do you sit here and think, well, if government debt equaled private sector assets, I would be stuffed with bond savings. And so would my parents wife, girlfriend, children, friends, uncles, everybody will be just stuffed with savings. But that that is not the case, is it? It is not the case. So what is the case? The case is that deficits are assets for the top 5%. Okay? Who Who gets stuck with the liability of those debts? the 95%, you, me, and everybody else around you. There are debts, there are savings, and there's liabilities. And everybody needs to understand that. The government who is in debt is a liability to you and an asset to the top 5%. And that's why you're not stuffed with savings. And the reason MMT wants to push this government, 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 gov everything fucking government, Okay, it's because they want to funnel trillions and trillions of dollars to the top 5% and you, the 95%, be happy about it. They want you to be in agreement. And they're going to promise you because you are short-term thinkers, thinkers. Okay, short-term thinkers are going to sit here and take short-term gains. Long-term thinkers, people with wealth, who want wealth appreciation over time, they're going to uh, benefit from uh, deficits. They're not interested in short-term gains. They're interested that they give you an instant gratification right now, like a drug, free this, free that, you can have free, 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 okay? And then that those dollars are going to funnel to them, to the top 5%, who are then going to save it, okay? Keep inflation low while the government continues to deficits and keeps feeding your short-term short -term, uh, drug fix. And that's the way it works. That's what MMT is good at. Bullshitting everybody. At the same time, giving everybody what they want. Short-term thinkers are going to get short-term shit. Long-term thinkers are going to get their long-term shit. And then, guess what? The liability will always be stuck with you. Always, 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 always. So as I told you, Milton, like him or not, he's right. Money is always and everywhere monetary inflation phenomenon. And that's why you are seeing asset price inflation, and uh, not in the productive economy, but in the non-productive economy. And this is a stock market, okay, world stock market. And um, today... Uh, it's 75 trillion. It was as high as 77. Uh, I'm sorry, 87 trillion. 
And if this chart went all the way back to 2007, you would see that there would be a massive rise in the stock market. And now you're seeing that money's flowing out of stocks and into where? Bonds. And those bonds are pushing interest rates lower and lower and lower into negative territory. And everyone is sitting, one, uh, sitting around saying, look, there's no inflation. MMT was right. <laughs> right? We have a cash famine. We need more deficits. We need to stimulate more. We need to run QE. We need a job guarantee. We need free college. We need uh, uh, free uh, Green New Deal. And we need, most of all, free blowjobs. Free government blowjobs for everybody. You know, that's how ridiculous uh, the magic monetary worshippers are. They're just ridiculous. Um, so when uh, when they're bamboozling you with uh, fake economics, uh, they're, they're, they'll never talk about the unproductive uh, portion of the private sector. Uh, they they want to steer you far far away from there as possible. They want to keep you focused that you need the government to provide jobs, the government to set wages, the government to set energy, the government to set health care, the government to provide uh, uh, free college, um, the government, the government, the government. And everything is the government, okay? Because that's Soviet-style thinking economics. Just print, 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 print. Keep blowing out more and more. Uh, debts that are going to be savings to the top 5%, uh, give short-term um, fixes to the peasants, the 95%, who are going to get their free this and free that, reward the savers, okay, the top 5%, uh, offer them more uh, money, more inequality, more power, okay, gain political um, power, and then uh, once you've accomplished that, you can gut the national savings of $155 trillion, which is today, gut it by liquefying those, uh, uh, w those uh, wealth, liquefy it into dollars, give it to the top 5%, okay? And then they can move those dollars easily anywhere, with, uh, anywhere in the world, okay? And then the liability is going to be stuck with you. You, my friend, are the one who is stuck with the liability while they flee to greener pastures. Everything that capitalism has created in the past 200 years, 155 trillion will be looted, okay, converted into dollars, given to the top 5%, um, not show up as inflation in the productive economy where you and I reside, okay, we'll give the savings to them, and then your nation is going to be looted and then you're going to be stuck with the liability while the top five percent go far away and then those who are going to be pushing the soviet style economics where we're all working for the state and the state is a monopolist and the state is a price setter and the state is controlling energy and green new deals and all this bullshit okay you're all going to be working for the state just like the soviets did and you're going to be laughing and making up Soviet jokes where you'll say, you know what, they pretend to pay us, I pretend to work, and game over. Just like the Soviet Union that collapsed, the same thing would happen here uh, if you subscribe to this you know, magic money tree uh, worshipping bullshit. It's voodoo economics. And if it wasn't voodoo economics, then you can, uh, any nation okay, in the world can just print value for a currency. Nobody would have to work, okay? These uh, poor countries would be booming today. The Soviet Union would still be around. And Venezuela would be competing for the top economy in the world. And since you're not stupid, you can figure this out, okay? That's not true. And since it's not true, uh, MMT is full of shit, okay? They wouldn't need to be here in the U.S. They would be in Haiti, Okay, printing value for the currency, counting the bodies in the unemployment line, and making Haiti great again. But since they can't do that, it's bullshit economics. 
and I'll keep saying it until you guys figure it out. And when you do, you're going to say, oh my God, Nick, you're a genius. No, I'm not a genius. I just follow what the math, facts, and data say. So that's it for this video. Take care, guys. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, and before I go, if any of you think that I am politically driven and that's why I don't like MMT and uh, uh, you know, I'm not a progressive and all this bullshit, nothing could be further from the truth, okay? I've been doing this way too. I've been doing this over a decade. Okay, uh, the, the, the people that have been following for a decade, they know. Okay, and this is one of the videos I posted, and it was just, I think, you know, funny as shit. But here it is: the dollar collapse, right? Dollar collapse. So, um, I was making fun of uh, Mr. Schiff, Mr. Shit, uh, because he was talking out of his ass. Okay, just like the MMT tards are today. So let's listen to this video. Okay, <laughs> it's it's actually quite funny. Let's listen. Peter's going to respond. Yeah, there's a lot of people who like to hear themselves talk out there. The bottom line is, Peter, first of all, where are the Chinese going to go? You're talking about rates are backing up here. Where aren't they going up? You show me a country around the world where rates aren't going up. You want to be in Europe? And you tell no, me what happens when the when the 10 year goes over 4%, the Chinese will be first in line to buy the 10 year. You tell no, me they won't. Rate, where they're, are rates going to go, Peter? Are rates are really going to go up to 6% next year in this world, in this environment? Yeah, they're gonna, where are you, you know going to buy it's a better deal than Treasuries at 4%? Treasuries are a lousy deal deal. I think, look, I think rates what are, are going to go through. What are you buying then? You've always got a lot to say against the dollar and the U.S. government. What are you buying that's not gold? And give me something specific. Well, I am buying gold, but I'm buying stocks all around the world. I'm buying commodities. I, you know, if interest rates are going to go up, but the country that's going to be hurt the most by higher rates is the U.S. because we have the uh -huh. most debt. The U.S. has the, the most ability to issue debt. debt. The U.S. is the largest bond market by a factor of 10. That's, and if that's you think a people are going to run away from the table just because yields have backed up 5%, this is actually a buying opportunity <laughs> but with whose money who you don't who buy with his money you want to buy the Chinese have done better than anybody in this bond market the people huh? that you say are going to run for the door are the people that have made Hold the on, most guys, money and have the no. most guys, to lose we, gonna, we've been in a bond we've been in a bull market in bonds for 20 years you've interest rates what if what if the you if interest rates <laughs> fucking clowns all these people that you guys listen to who you think are going to tell you what reality is, the shifts, the, the Moslers, the squid, right? Why is he a squid? Because he sprays ink in people's eyes with bullshit. Why do you think these squids uh, are going to show you the path to prosperity? They're not. All of them are full of shit, okay? Where are interest rates today? They're negative, okay? They're negative. What the fuck was Schiff talking about? See, no one understood the savings bubble. Nobody understood the savings bubble. Today, still, people don't understand the savings bubble. Come down to patreon.com slash real macro, and you guys are really going to start to understand real macro economics and why I was making shift, making fun of shift 10 years ago and why I'm making fun of Mosley the Squid today. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Before this battle is over, the world will know that few stood against many. Is that